Hi guys, welcome back to another set of live demo in our series of moving forward with Solid Edge. In this particular demo here, I'm going to share how uh, we can include non-graphical part in assembly. By now, I'm sure that you all of you are working with your bill of material and the part list in Solid Edge. There would be times where it is required you to include parts in bill of material but not necessarily in your assembly for example parts like grease oil or uh, paint which is need to be included in your bill of material but not in your assembly uh, in this particular um, demo here i'm going to create a drawing based on this assembly and in this drawing here i'm going to retrieve all the properties that is embedded in the uh, uh, assembly file here in bill of material In this bill of material particularly see uh, you only can find all the parts that is in uh, that is currently in the uh, assembly but what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to uh, add in uh, paint uh, in this part here uh, which is uh, not physically to the part but to the bill of material for that the first thing I have to do is that going back to the assembly environment and in the assembly environment I'm going to use the top-down concept where in the part library I'm going to choose create in place option and select uh, appropriate uh, environment and to create this part which I name as paint. As you can see here, you are already in the part environment. Going to the file, in the file property, at the custom, I'm going to key in a property called override and uh, leave the type as number and key in a value of zero. Later on, in this demo, we'll see how this is can be retrieved in the bill of material. I'm also adding another uh, property called area cover and the type I just going to leave it as text and the value I just uh, key in all area. I'm going to populate again <coughs> information on this part here where I'm going to um, uh, key in title as paint and the document number as PT02 and project name as paint2. After doing this, I'm going to close and return to the assembly, save this file and going back to the draft 4 that I've created earlier. And as you can see, once I update my drawing, a new set of parts have been created, have been included in the bill of material. And uh, for you to edit these properties, you can go back to that particular part what we call as the paint 
and I'm going to change in the tool I'm going to the bill of uh, material table and in the bill in the material table rather than using aluminium I'm going to choose a material called polyvinyl to represent my material for the paint close and return return back to the draft form which is created I'm going to update this drawing and as you can see here the material having changed to polyvinyl and as you can see here there are times where you require to bring in more uh, properties to your bill of material here and going to the column and as you can remember previously that I've created a few properties as shown in this uh, video here I'm re retrieving this area cover and uh, override properties to be also included in the